What screams, rich asshole? My uncle, who was was an incredibly successful heart surgeon at the time, once took me to a show in downtown Austin. When we got to the venue, there was nowhere to park. He rolled up to an area that had yellow stripes everywhere and big, no parking, signs. I pointed out that we can't park there, but he just replied, nah, it just costs 400 something dollars to park here. I do it all the time. They won't tow a porch. He was right. They didn't tow his car and just gave him a ticket. I'm gonna buy this nice building that has meaning to my town just to destroy it and not do anything useful with it. Just wait till you hear from my lawyer. Do you even know who my dad is? Me, two nights ago. Three assholes came in to eat at the restaurant I work at. More than an hour late for their reservation and roughly 75 minutes before we were legally required by the city to kick them out. Covid curfews are still in effect. If you get caught you risk losing your liquor license. When we dropped the check and explained the situation, they screamed that it was unacceptable because they had spent so much money with us. Guess what? Other people spent more than you that same night, and they were on time. We're not interested in risking a whole business and a few dozen people's jobs because you can't tell time and think that the world is going to stop for you. <laughs> Me whenever I hear Joel Osteen's name mentioned. <laughs> Asterisk expecting special treatment by default. Store employees, bars, clubs, restaurants. Asterisk cutting to the front of lineups. Asterisk being confused why someone doesn't just replace something that's getting worn, i.e. shoes, old phone models, gaming consoles, house repairs, decor. Wasn't there a video of some guy that got choked out after headbutting a waiter? That video just screams, rich asshole. Kids who complain when their parents buy them their first car. The CEO of the nonprofit hospital I work for won't give us a COVID bonus but he got over a $4 million bonus. I can do illegal things and the government will side with me edit. I'm not rich. I used to do character B-Day party gigs in La. Those who were middle class or less would always tip me too much, feed me too much, and I would meet everyone in their family. When I worked the elite in Beverly Hills or Pacific Palisades mansions I would never meet the parents. They wouldn't be at the party. I would be wandering around the party as Darth Vader or Batman, mostly blind, asking people where the parents were so I could get paid and get going. Only for the butler to take me aside and hand me an envelope with exact change of how much they owed me. My sister works at a fancy private school, and she tells me rich asshole stories all the time. I think the worst though is this one student who is a foreign student that is literally a princess from a royal family in a country that I won't name for privacy reasons. But she demands that the staff address her as royalty, and demands students at the school be forced to treat her respectfully. My sister also told me that a trend has happened throughout the school where students will reference each other with royal monikers like, your highness, or, my lord, to piss her off, because if everyone is addressed like royalty then in the end it means nothing anymore. My friend went to a rich kid's school, wasn't rich herself, got in on scholarship but she has the craziest spoiled rich kid stories. One of them is when she overheard a girl complaining about her family going to Italy for the summer because she wanted to go back to Spain. She was on the verge of tears about how she never gets what she wants. 100k diamond butt plug. Two parking spot parkers. I was in a meeting with the medical director for my old company a few years back. He was telling a story how he refuses to put a front plate on his fancy sports car and would rather just pay the $200 fine every time he got written up for a ticket. At the time I was broke and taking a series of buses and trains to work. I had a ridiculously rich landlord once. Owned who knows how many houses, enough acreage to make a large US county, and a plane. Tried to complain to me because I, asterisk the person paying rent, Asterisk wasn't doing anything to improve his fucking house that I was paying him to live in. Bitch, it's your house, you improve it. Privileged asshole. My father will hear about this. Gets turned into a ferret. Had a rich guy ask me once what my favorite brand of water was. Uh, great value? My dad when the guy in the BMW cuts him off. Not paying your fucking staff. My boyfriend's ex-boss didn't pay my boyfriend, his only worker, for six months. Crying that clients weren't paying for their services, 
while he walked my boyfriend through his brand new, renovated kitchen. Fuck outta here with that shit. Don't have enough money? Just buy stocks. Don't find an apartment to rent? Just buy an house. I have a doctor customer who owes me money. Man got the nerve to have three personal luxury vehicles, lives alone, but can't cut me a check when I come to service his house. People who answer statements of, oh I wish I had this, with, just buy it. If I could buy it without being stressed out wouldn't I have bought it already? Idiot. Being rude to service workers. I had a rich friend in middle school. We would go to a chick villa after school and he was rude to the workers. I told him in cashier's earshot that the workers get to your food first. Who knows what they can do to it. Friend had a 180 turnaround to service workers after that. OMG my ex was full of them. Here's a few. Always buying new clothes, shoes, or accessories compulsively because you should be willing to invest in your appearance at all times. Which I can agree with to an extent, but not in Burberry. He'd drop at least 5k per visit. Refusing to eat at a restaurant that is part of a chain and complaining to the people who are buying you dinner there about it. Making fun of the waitstaff too. Laughing at homeless people and thinking they're a joke. Making fun of people purely based on their attire or car they drive. There's a reason he's my ex now. My brother-in-law and sister-in-law. Them. We don't have any more money than you guys do and we are able to save a lot. Also them, we had to pay $167,000 in taxes this year. How are you guys getting a refund? They obviously have way more money than us with that tax bill. Edit. This is their personal tax. They do not own a business. However, they do have a rental property. By that, I mean they have a vacation house that they Airbnb out once every couple of months. The one who awards himself platinum through his alt account. This mentality. Parking tickets aren't tickets. They're just the price it costs to park there. Being handed capital to invest or a job that was handed to you by your family and claiming to be self-made. My cousin's wife, very rich, stayed at our house while she and my cousin were in town. She brought her dog with her. One day we went out to pick up some groceries and run some errands. She decided to stay home by herself. While we were out her dog got sick in our house. When we got home, a few hours later, she calmly came downstairs and said, Oh while you were out the dog got sick and she pointed at the spot, expecting us to clean it up for her. I can't imagine what her life was, is like that led her to not immediately clean up her dog's own shit. Instead she just let it sit there for hours, stressing out waiting for the help. Ah ha ha. Not paying taxes and having employees who still qualify for welfare. When an 18 years old flashes his new house he bought with his own money in Instagram. Followed by, what have you guys been up to? And a Canada goose coat when you live in Florida. I'm totally not referencing anybody right now. I made a comment one time that getting a Christmas tree was just too much effort. They asked why BC, you just schedule an appointment. How hard is that? They bring the tree and set it up and do all the decorating for you. I'm sorry what? This person had no idea that normal people do not just order a tree that is delivered and set up and decorated and then taken away every year. Light prison sentence. Steve Jobs, co-founder of Apple. You've probably heard of him. He refused to have a license plate on his car, a Mercedes SL55 convertible. California allowed six months to get a license plate put on your car, so every six months he'd trade in the car for a new lease. And just in case you think that this sounds too ridiculous to be true. HTTPS colon slash slash abcnews.go.com slash technology slash Steve dash jobs dash car dash apple dash co dash license dash plates slash story question mark it equals 14834608 closing square bracket opening parenthesis HTTPS colon slash slash abcnews.go.com slash technology slash Steve dash jobs dash car dash apple dash co dash license dash plates slash story question mark it equals 148 34608 closing parenthesis I used to work in Silicon Valley and, for a while, at Apple. Steve Wozniak, last I saw about three to four years ago, drove a white Prius with the license plate, Woz, edit. Come to think of it, it might have been a Chevy Bolt. It's been a while. Throwing rubbish out of the sports car window. 
treating regular folks with little to no regard, particularly those in the service industry. People in million-dollar mansions with pools and outdoor space, who, during the lockdown part of the pandemic, pretended to have it just as bad as everyone else. This woman, looked the picture of living on family money, in my drive through once hung her card out of her car window, refused to look at or talk to me and expected me to lean out the window to tap the card machine on it. I almost thought, rich asshole, until she sped off to the next window and her card declined. Nice Range Rover, nails and fillers idiot. Maybe save some of daddy's money for some food love. Complaining about the price of a pizza, not tipping, and driving away in your Corvette. I work at a pizza place, so this might be a little specific. I work for the post office in Arizona. Our office services several rich neighborhoods where half its residents have multiple homes. We constantly get people who pull up in their nice new caddy or Lexus or whatever. They come in and tell us they're leaving to go to their summer home and then they buy stamps and bitch about how they used to be four cents or whatever. Dude, you're retired with multiple homes and cars. You golf all day and you clearly have enough money that I shouldn't have to hear you bitch about buying a 55 cent stamp. Fuck off. A heavy duty, work, pickup truck, loaded with $60,000 worth of upgrades and add ons. Without a scratch or a speck of dirt. Having mommy and daddy throw enough money around to make problems go away and get what you wanted in the end. Guy the first knew growing up, and then we ended up at same college. His dad was some bigwig real estate guy, mom was a heiress to well-known brand. He was very status conscious and knew he could always buy way out of trouble. Always some shady, borderline illegal scheme to make more money, usually so he could buy himself a Rolex or shit. Anyway, our university was pretty elite, but he wanted to go to the best in his area of study. So he planned to transfer. He got like a 3.98 GPA. Couldn't buy off a PE teacher to get an A, but because he was an entitled jerk couldn't get professors willing to write letters of recommendation. So he forged one, mailed it out, but forgot postage, and got discovered when it went, returned to sender, to a professor who hadn't written it. His parents flew down, made a giant donation to our school, and the administration didn't inform his intended university of his stunt. He got in, he left our school got his best degree and last I heard was working on Wall Street I'm always amazed he hasn't ended up in prison for some sort of white collar shit. Being Joel Austin. Me. When somebody lands on my park place with the three houses. Me and my family are Scottish. Tipping isn't much of a thing here. My mother and I aren't very well off at all. We got by but we never got by easily. On a family holiday to New York for an auntie's wedding which we couldn't afford and my gran had to help pay for. My mom and I were working with a backpacker's budget. We didn't eat much fancy or go anywhere expensive. At my aunt's wedding breakfast, we ate the cheapest things we could since we were all going in on a bill together. There were at least eight plus guests who were seriously high earners, lawyers, a higher up in Facebook etc. We were expected to pay for their fucking extravagant ass breakfasts and mimosas. We didn't even have a coffee to save as it was our last day. My mother and I had given so many tips, and we didn't understand how the coins worked so we just gave all our change to anyone we saw asking. We bought about eight strangers coffee, you'd think us mugs but honestly we just wanted to see some people warm up and be somewhere safe for the January morning. Eight plus people who make eight figures a year at least, got bitchy at my mum and I for demanding they tip the staff. We even made sure to clarify they understood how service staff were paid there compared to home. My future uncle-in-law really hit me with, then they ought to get a better job, on top of that they were just snide and rude to our server because surprise surprise, 10 breakfasts are hard to make in 5 minutes. The server was an angel and I ended up tipping her a 20 when we left as it was all I had spare. If they say, you can be just as rich as me if you work hard enough. Like shut up, dude, L, you great grandfather ran a textile mill and your oldest ancestor was William the Conqueror. A yacht that fits inside another yacht. When I was a hairdresser we used to have this guy come in one to three times a week mostly just to straighten his hair but sometimes wash, color or cut. And every single time he would question the price, which was always the same, and hesitate on if he thought it was worth it or not, and then he'd pay cash out of his designer wallet and drive off in his Lamborghini. 
Installing workplace wellness booths in your warehouses instead of paying your employers higher wages, improving working conditions, and cutting down on mandatory overtime. Oh dear God, I grew up in Dubai and boy did I come across some textbook rich assholes. The place I worked at had a fine for smoking in the toilet. One day I caught an Emirati customer smoking a pipe in there, because of course he was smoking a pipe. I told him he was going to be fined DHs.100, around $30. He looked at me, laughed and said, make the fine 10,000. That way at least it feels like a fine. So I did. Honorable mentions. Tiger in Bentley's diamond studded anything gold plated cars walking around a mall with an exotic cat who is clearly uncomfortable ah, Dubai. When someone buys a NFT, a fucking JPEG, of Doge for $4 million https colon slash slash www.nbcnewyork.com slash news slash national dash international slash iconic dash doge dash meme dash nft dash breaks dash record dash selling dash for dash 4m slash 3103998 slash Do you know who I am? No bitch, I don't and I don't care. GTFO there's no punishment. I just pay $200 if I get caught. First thing that comes to mind is this. I was in middle school, and a group of kids were hanging out and I knew two of them so I went to talk to them. Girl drops her phone intentionally. It was an iPhone 8, and at the time it was the newest thing. Brand new phone too. She threw it on the ground again on the linoleum floor. The phone screen cracked. After that I asked why she did that because those are super expensive. She said it didn't matter because her mom would just buy her a new one. Edit. Turns out it was an iPhone 7 but I know it was brand new at the time she had it. When I had trouble paying for college my aunt suggested I use financial aid and proceeds to tell me how they had to lie about their income and where their daughter was staying to get it. And on the application they listed her trip to the Bahamas as mission work. They laughed because their daughter couldn't even stand to look at those dirty children but they wrote it up like she was teaching them the Bible. Edit. It's the awful comments that always blow up. Thanks for the silver and the other award. As an update this aunt has come back home to steal antiques and valuables from my elderly grandfather and she and her husband are part of a yacht club, might actually be a sailboat? It's big, and they sail around the US doing the Great Loop, going around the East Coast, through the canal, and down the Mississippi. Thanks for watching. See you later. Thank you.